A week into the new Afghan school term and these desks in Ghazni province are unoccupied. Thousands of pupils are stuck at home because of a Taliban campaign of intimidation. It's all linked to a province-wide ban on unlicensed motorbikes. The Taliban are saying that the schools should be closed until the ban on motorbikes is lifted. And it's not only the Taliban that use bikes, ordinary people use them as well. So I want the government to lift the bike ban so that children can come to school. Motorbikes are the Taliban's preferred mode of transport. Al Jazeera filmed these Taliban in Ghazni in 2010. According to Governor Akbar Zadar, they're used in drive-by shootings and to make quick getaways after planting bombs. We reached the governor by phone. Akbar Zadar told us that in the six months since he banned unlicensed bikes, there's been no Taliban attacks. Last year, there were three major attacks. But now the governor is locked in a battle of wills with the Taliban and its Ghazni schoolchildren that are suffering the consequences. NATO says that what it calls insurgent activity is down almost 30% in Ghazni this year compared to last. The security situation, it says, is stable. NATO can't count the fear factor. Widespread access to education for boys and girls is one of the achievements most often trumpeted by the government of President Hamid Karzai. And it's improved security that has allowed those schools to open. But after 11 years, there are still many parts of this country where security is so precarious that just a threat from the Taliban is enough to terrify ordinary Afghans. Bernard Smith, Al Jazeera, Kabul.